In your other health news this morning, Breast Cancer Awareness Month ends in just a few days. As thousands of people wear pink to honor women, we are reminded the disease can also occur in men. The American Cancer Society predicts more than 2,000 new cases of male breast cancer will be diagnosed this year in the U.S. Here to talk about the dangers this morning is Dr. Sanjay Vin from the Austin Cancer Center. Good morning to you. Morning. So it is less common, though, in men. Why is that? So breast cancer is primarily driven by hormones and anatomy, uh, physiology, biology is different between male and females. So you would see much less estrogen in men. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why it's less, much less common you see. And if you look at um, where you see male breast cancer and the higher risk is you would see in men with higher estrogen levels. So in Africa, I mean, if you look at how often the incidence is about 1%. Um, in men you would see breast cancer. In West Africa and some areas where you would see about 6% uh, and in those patients you've seen liver issues and often liver problems, problems with testicle, these issues cause increase in estrogen. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're exposed to increased estrogen you would see an increase in incidence of breast cancer. So that's why they're very different. Okay, in men is male breast cancer as aggressive a as the cancers found in, in women? Studies have shown they're very similar. Again, of course, you don't have as many cases as female breast cancers to study them. But from the limited cases that we have with male breast cancer, they're very similar, although they're diagnosed at a much, much later, later stage. So if you're looking at much later stage, they might be slightly more advanced, but they're treated very similarly. Yeah, I was going to ask, do you tackle the cancer the same? They're treated very similarly. Um, you have the same options with surgery. Uh, you have the same options with endocrine treatment, same options with chemotherapy. I don't think it's treated any less or more aggressively. Mm -hmm. uh, but the only difference is they may tend to be diagnosed at a later stage. A lot of men don't realize that there is a chance of male breast cancer and could ignore like a lump uh, in their breast and might think it's just fat tissue. But whenever you see a suspicious lump in the male breast, it's important to uh, see your doctor. And it's also called a, uh, called a mammogram Correct. For, for males as well. There is a mammogram for men as well, although it's not done routinely as screening because it's not, not very common. So it's mostly done in high risk uh, patients. Again, if you look at breast cancer in Maine, uh, the most risk factors are, there's a very strong family history of breast cancer. There's a BRCA2 gene mutation that also increases the risk. So if you have any of those, I mean, male breast cancer get tested for a BRCA gene mutation. So if you have a family member who has BRCA gene mutation, I think you need to be aware of that. Okay. Dr. Vin, good information this morning. Thank you so much. As Thank we you. wrap up Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we'll be right back in two minutes with more news and weather. Stay with us.